everybody and welcome to my channel thrifting adventures so if you're new to my channel my name is Stephanie and my channel is all about how to save money from thrifting and make money from thrifting so today I'm doing something a little bit different during this really crazy stressful time I just wanted to show you some of my vintage greeting cards that I've collected over the years and I just want to show them to you and read them to you and um, I thought it'd just be like a fun little relaxing video so sit back and enjoy some of these fun vintage greeting cards that are anywhere from 50 to 70 years old. All right, let's start. So some of these are greeting cards that I recently purchased a couple months ago, and some I've had in my collection for quite a while. And I just picked out some of the my favorite ones here. This one is for 11-year-old birthday. It says, Happy Birthday, 11-year-old. Rah, rah, you're now 11, and rate a great big cheer. So may you win a birthday that kicks in one swell year. And may your joys keep scoring as every day goes by. And good luck, make a touchdown that keeps you flying high. And I guess this was for Wayne. And there is some issues here, but I thought the graphics were so cute. And I just love the way they spoke back then, saying things like the word swell. You don't hear that much anymore and flying high, <laughs> little sayings like that. And even the back's really cute. The next one is, gee, I forgot your birthday. No lame excuse, no alibi in. I forgot the day and that's why I'm crying. Happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> I think that's one super cute. And this one is almost like a little storybook. Some of these cards were quite, quite long. It says, The Naked Truth About Babies. New babies have no teeth or hair. They cannot read or write. They lie around and sleep all day and stay awake all night. New babies aren't at all polite. They never try to talk. If something's lacking in their lives, they just lie back and squawk. <laughs> New babies run the laundry up and run the pantry down. They coo and smile for parents, but when folks drop in, they frown. New babies sure are undersized. There's very little of them. But gee, they're precious pink and sweet. You just can't help but love them. Congratulations to all of you. I think the graphics are really cute on this little card too. And on some of these, I have cut parts of them out because they had some wear or staining or rips. So they might look in as-is condition. And I love how all the animals had the cutest faces on these cards. <laughs> This one says, we both want to put our two cents in on your birthday. And this was a pop-up card, which is really popular back in the 40s and 50s. We ain't the sentimental type. Oops. We ain't the sentimental type, but we mean it, you can bet. When we wish you a day that's sensational and a year that's your very best yet. I really like that one. And even on the back, it has a cute little picture. Now, this one was in horrible condition, so I cut it up and I put it on new paper, but it's still the original pieces. And I just thought it was so funny. Birthday greetings. Ain't got no use for sissy stuff. I'm tough as I can be. The rougher that my playmates are, the more they rate with me. But here's what I can't figure out, although I'm far from. How come each time your birthday's due, I get so sentimental? Happy, many happy returns. So I think this is pretty, pretty funny. His friends are beating him up. <laughs> but these are his close friends, and I guess he likes that because he's not a sissy. I don't know. The the sense of humor back uh, over 50 years ago was, was different, I think. 
This one looks like she's going to fall over on her little stool. Greetings to you and your new home. I'll bet you've had a busy time with all you've had to do. But oh, how nice it must be now with everything so new. Congratulations. That's cute. This one I thought was a little bit morbid, um, but it was, you know, sign of the times, different sense of humor. It's a fox, and he says, they sneak up on ya. Oh, and there's the lady wearing the fox shawl. But you wear them well. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, he got turned into a fur. Oh, this one actually I'm working on fixing up. And I can't, oh. So I'm going to be fixing this one up because it had some damage. It says, happy birthday. The first hundred years are the hardest. And then on the inside, here's hoping that this birthday will really be a wow and that you'll still be going strong a hundred years from now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if we could live to 200 years old someday? Maybe someday. Here is a Valentine's Day card. It says, let's make this a twosome. Out on the links, I may be slow and lots of chances miss, but there's one game where I can show dust where to put putt a kiss. Oh, because it's about golfing. That's cute. This one has some sparkle to it. Hi, Valentine. My love keeps multiplying for you every day. It even has a little sparkle left to it. And these were typically the cards that kids would give other kids or maybe a parent would give to their kid. To a sweet little girl, happy birthday. And this again is a pop-up. May lots of fun and gladness make this beautiful. This birthday very fine for a darling little lady who's a special friend of mine. Oh, that is really cute. And this one's fancy. It has a little uh, bow here. A little extra. Happy birthday to my wife. Oh, as is. Every wish for birthday joy I send you deed I do. For every day, I'm happier because I married you. Oh, that's sweet. Little doggy's chasing the kitty. Happy birthday, sister. She's quite fancy. Got a Victorian look to it. A lot of folks have sisters that they think lots of. It's true, but bet that no one ever had a nicer one than you. Nice and simple. I like this one. And this one has, actually has a furry texture to it. Kind of a high-end card. It says, Happy Birthday, 7-Year-Old. You're having a birthday, or so I've been told. Say, isn't it great to be 7 years old? I think that's really cute, too. I love this bunny picture on here. Hi there, toots. You're sure a wow. Could I go for you and how? <laughs> That's adorable. I like this one. Oh, from Sally and Mike. And last but not least, this was a promotional card. It's called A Joyous Christmas. And I'm not sure why he's posing his hands like this. He looks like he wants to wrestle. <laughs> I'm not sure. So this is Lawrence Welk. And it has like a little uh, calendar on the side. Lawrence Welk and his musical family. And it even has a um, printed out signature of his. 15th year ABC TV are thanks to you. I thought the picture was kind of funny.
So those are my favorite vintage greeting cards. Thank you so much for tuning into my challenge. And until next time, see you later. Bye.